girlfriend and her new boyfriend over here in Southfield, Michigan. Southfield is a suburb of, De of Detroit. For anybody that's from Detroit, you know what they call it is they call it um, Metro Detroit. They call it Metro Detroit. And Metro Detroit is basically Detroit and it's all surrounding suburbs and areas. All right. So when you see people and they say, yeah, I'm from Detroit. A lot of them really ain't from Detroit. A lot of them is just um, they pretending like they from Detroit. You from Detroit? Oh, yeah. Where you grow up in Southfield? Oh, you're not really from the D. You're not really from the D. Look at them. They feeling a certain type of way right now because we went in on Chicago. Don't worry about it. We going to get to it. I blog every day in the city. The city is gorgeous and beautiful, and we don't burn our city up like y'all do. But let's get into the show, Detroit. We got to bring y'all to the front of the congregation. Let's have a conversation, y'all. Burger suspect in Southfield is shot and killed by police. Investigators say he was on the run after killing his ex-girlfriend and shooting her boyfriend. Fox News' Jessica Dupnak joining us live. And Jessica, how the suspect and the kid victim had kids together. Do we know if they're okay at this point? Those kids are okay. They are currently with family and this suspect actually dropped those kids off here in the area of Seven Mile and the Lodge at a friend's house. Before this all happened with police, he gave those children some money and said his goodbyes. The scene behind me clearing up right now, but this is where it all ended for that 49 year old man allegedly pulling an assault rifle out towards police and they fired at him. Let me ask y'all a question. Let me ask y'all a question. We often have these conversations about relationships and I even tell y'all, I say one of the things that I've always, uh, that I've always emphasized, even when I was a young kid, and I'm gonna be reading Super Chat shortly. Thank y'all for holding me down. Even as a young kid, I've always understand or understood that simp life is a dead man's game this man was practically 50 years old and he said i'm taking you out i'm taking you out and i'm taking you out now so many different things that we need to have a conversation about about this right so many different things that we have to have a conversation about the first thing is Lead them hoes alone that is in a relationship because you can't control how that dude react to it. I know a lot of y'all think that it's cute. You think that sleeping with chicks that got a man or married. To, and I don't even know if this dude, like if he caught the dude cheating, he just saying that he killed the ex and the chick. Man, listen, if you see a woman and she got a crazy ex and this is one of the thing one of the reasons why I tell y'all y'all need to stay out of these situations where y'all talking to single baby mamas i know it's some baby mamas that's watching this i know y'all feeling a certain type of way but you can't control that nigga you can't control that nigga i don't you dog y'all don't even know what she you don't know what kind of trauma that's happened in that relationship and you got another dude that came in and he coming to take care of her kids. Listen to what's happening. He went and he picked his kids up and went and dropped them off on the lodge, on the lodge with it. Seven mile on the lodge over the, over the family's crib, over his homie's house. Gave him some money and said, all right, I'm a 50-year-old man. I think it's time for me to go ahead and put these dudes to bed and go night-night. And went night-night. Think about this for a minute. So now you got this other sad sucker simp that Boyce Watkins and Umar Johnson and Steve Harvey is saying, hey, it, woman don't need to bring nothing to the table. Go ahead and put yourself in a line, line of fire with a dude that you don't even know what the history of what this relationship is supposed to be like. And so he came in and said, listen, baby girl, I got you. Fuck that dude. And he probably was just chilling. Just got done digging her out. She told him he loved him after she told him. The other dude, that was the ex that he loved him. And the dude went and dropped his kids off and then ran in there and, and said, everybody got to go. You can't control these dudes. You don't know what the heck is happening. You out here trying to save these chicks 
and these chicks is is lining you up consciously and subconsciously and putting you in a line of fire with a dude that's feeling some type of way because he told you told him that you loved him. So this is this is reality. This is just a reality. He fell out the car and just died. But uh, it's very traumatizing to see. It's, it's and he dropped the top. He dropped the top on him. Very devastating to see. This witness says it perfectly. The day started six miles north of here at the Southfield Marriott after nine o'clock. Evidence markers trail a spray of gunfire where a 49 year old man used an assault rifle and shot his child's mother and her new boyfriend. She was killed. He is in critical condition. It appears that he waited in the parking lot until they exited the hotel. And now this sounds what let me tell you why this sounds wild to me. Because they putting a label on it and I hear a completely different label. They was exiting the hotel in the city that they live in. Sway. How sway? It was a staycation. It was a staycation. Exiting the hotel of the city that they. Now, why would you be at a hotel if that's your boyfriend? If that's your boyfriend. Why is he waiting for you at the hotel specifically? That ain't no boyfriend. That's a buzz down. That's a buzz down. So this dude walking out after they didn't had a good old time at the Marriott. I'm a Marriott customer. I am a, a, a Platinum Elite member. I do confess I am a Platinum Elite man, member. And they sitting there talking about this is her boyfriend. No, that's not a boyfriend. That's a dude that she was getting getting in getting it in with allegedly this is based off of what my perception of it is right you got to put your context clues in order and he was sitting in the parking lot like yep that's her car yep that's that's mm -hmm. where was the kids at the kids wasn't at the hotel with him he had the kids he went and dropped the kids off she told him hey i need you to take the kids he went and got the kids he already was up on it so he's probably following on social media and all of that and so now they walking out the hotel in the city that they live in. And this is why I be telling y'all. This is why I be telling y'all I can't emphasize it enough. I can't highlight it enough. You can't control the actions of another person. Stay out of the way of people that you shouldn't even be involved in in the first place. I ain't never, ever. I ain't never, ever, ever. Ever, 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 ever. Got to worry about, of all the things that I got to worry about, I got to worry about these simps on the internet. I got to worry about, you know, uh, people throwing hate. Uh, I don't worry about reaction videos because that just helped me to boost me up. But the one thing that I ain't never got to worry about, the one thing that I ain't never got to worry about, yeah, I'm sorry about it, uh, baby girl. I am definitely platinum elite. I am definitely Platinum Elite. You know what I'm saying? We Platinum Elite with the Marriott. If you know the purple. Oh, actually, I'm Titanium Elite. I didn't even realize that. Honey, did you know we was Titanium Elite? We Titanium Elite. We are Titanium Elite, baby. Baby girl. Yeah. I only got 35,000 points left. We've been running through these, my, these points. I am Titanium Elite, ladies and gentlemen. See that? Let me make sure there ain't no, name, no numbers on here. Titanium Elite, baby. Sorry, I ain't platinum. I'm Titanium. I'm big dog. Big dog. Titanium Elite, baby. Big dog. We Titanium over here. We at the highest level. Which time he used an assault rifle and did shoot both of them. Police sources say after the double shooting, the 49 year old suspect went to his Warren home, switched out cars into this now shot up black Camaro. He then picked up the couple's kids from school, gave them money and said his goodbyes before dropping them off at a friend's house near the lodge in Seven Mile. Nearby is ultimately where Southfield police tracked him, trying to pull him over. He lowered the top of the uh, Camaro uh, just prior to us making that traffic stop, at which time our officers tried to engage him. He didn't reach for that assault rifle, uh, and the officers did use deadly force. He was already looking to, um, 
He was already looking to crash out. He dropped the top. Look at all of the bullet holes through the headrest. All of the bullet holes through the headrest that he dropped the top. He went, he already planned it. He went and got an assault. He didn't get a pistol. He got an assault rifle. He was looking to, think about this, y'all. He was looking to crash out over a woman, over a baby mama. He crashed out over a baby mother. Jesus. Had the top drop. Just became spring and in, in, in the D. When the executed the dude was waiting on her at the at the Marriott. Said, I'm gonna kill him and you. Dropped the top, and then it was like, yo, I'm ready to crash out all the way. That's crazy. This is insane, man. And I shot the suspect, fatally wounded him. Three Southfield police officers were involved in the shooting. The motive here, a jealous ex-partner. There's no excuse for an individual to use this type of violence uh, over breakup. That wasn't no breakup though, big dog. And I agree, it's no ex listen, don't 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 take yourself out as a result of it. But the other side of the conversation is it clearly wasn't no breakup. This was something that you already she already had in the wings. This is something that she already she was at the hotel with another man. That ain't no breakup. This is fatal attraction. That man was hurt. What's the name of this live stream? It's called Sensitive. It's called Sensitive. The name of this live stream is called Sensitive. That's the title that I gave it today. We are, we are in our feelings. We're not passionate. It's the difference between being passionate and saying, I need a man with sensitivity. Someone like me. New addition. The new boyfriend, the 41 year old man that was shot, he is in critical condition, but we are learning that he is stable. Uh, Southfield police. This, nigga, this dude got to live the rest of his life with bullet wounds and bullet holes in him over a hole. Chief crediting that man for before he went in the hospital, he gave them some very important information about this suspect, and that was how they were able to track him to this location here. Reporting live on Detroit's West Side, Jessica Dupnak, Fox 2 News. Well, it's good they stopped him when they did, but Jessica, talk about the suspect and his ex's relationship a little bit more. Had there been domestic issues in the past? Had he made threats against her? So on record, according to court records, there were no domestic filings against this man. He did serve some time in prison for an armed robbery in the mid 90s. It does appear that the couple has a long history. Uh, the man is actually from this general area right here. They have a long history, kids together. Mm. Uh, but again, it sounds like jealousy is the motive here. You picked the baby daddy that was fresh out of prison for armed robbery. Let's put all of the put all of the uh, things in perspective. You 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 got with a baby daddy that was out of prison for armed robbery. All right. Okay. Y'all had a life together. Y'all had kids together. As soon, listen, y'all been talking to each other probably since the 90s. This man is 50. He 49 years old. 50. 50 years old. These people been talking since the 90s. They have been talking since the 90s. They got kids together. They love each other. All of this other type of stuff. And this woman goes out here and she walking out of a hotel room with another man. What you think is going to happen? This man and gave you his whole life. He gave you his whole life. And she had a man walking out the hotel room. A man walking out the hotel room. There's no winners in this. 
Snow Winter's in this. She gone. Think about it. There's zero winners when you don't do what you're supposed to do as a man or as a woman. It's zero winners in this. He did. She did. The boyfriend is shot up in the hospital. The kids ain't got no parents. The police officers has now got to live with that trauma and that PTSD of having to kill a man. Another sad state tragedy and the mama that's probably 70, 80 years old got to finish raising somebody else's kids. Both parents dead. Kids probably going to grow up with that trauma. Never, ever going to ever be able to have a, a normal life now that they've had to deal with the fact that they daddy had to kill the mama because the mama was walking out the hotel room and so it turned out to be a crime of passion. It's zero winners. It's zero winners in this situation. 